the same, same Greg, same college, but new kitchen this year. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make meatball pizza, and this is Greg's college kitchen. Okay, so what we have here is a little under a pound of ground pork, um, a little under a pound of ground beef. Um, you could use a mixture of beef, pork, and veal, but what I have here is pork and beef, or just beef, whatever you want. Um, and then I have an onion that I just diced mixed in here. Uh, I'm going to add salt and pepper. Just to season. And then lastly, we just need breadcrumbs. I'm using panko, but you can use any kind of breadcrumb, seasoned or unseasoned, or whatever you like. Panko is nice because it's just crunchier, I think. Some of that. And then make sure to spill it everywhere. Crack an egg. And I'm just going to work this all together. Because the egg helps to uh, bind the meatballs, which are about to form after this. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now we're going to start uh, forming our meatballs. Take a handful. I'm just gonna roll it up. It's a decent size. You could go even a little, maybe a little smaller than that actually. So, we'll start placing our meatballs on a pan. I just lined it with uh, aluminum foil. Okay, now I've formed my meatballs. Um, as you can see, I only used about half of the ground meat I had. Um, obviously, this recipe doesn't need any specific amount of meatballs. Just make however many you can. Now I'm going to put this in the oven now. For, uh, the oven's on 400 degrees. I preheated it, and we're going to put it in there for about 15 minutes or so until you, we'll see when the meatballs are cooked. Okay, now we're just going to prepare a simple tomato sauce. Um, I'm starting with some garlic that I just diced up. Um, a little olive oil, get that going. Let's just start cooking. Uh, I'm gonna add crushed tomatoes. This is a nice chunky box of crushed tomatoes. Uh, and yeah, while our meatballs are finishing up in the oven, uh, we're just gonna get this sauce going. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes, so we're gonna take out our meatballs. Wow, they're looking good. Take those out. And now we're gonna add them to our sauce, which is cooking away. It's gonna be hot, so just be careful. Ooh. And just let the meatballs uh, hang out with the sauce for a little bit. A little bit. Um, now we're just going to let these flavors develop for a few minutes. I'm going to add salt and pepper again. And then a little crushed red pepper, which is totally optional, but give a little spice to our sauce. Okay, now we're going to start the pizza aspect of the meatball pizza. We're going to start with um, fresh dough. We're going to lay out some flour. Just kidding. Just work with the dough a little until it stops, um, you know, stretching back, squeezing back into itself. We're going to try and get a big rectangle out of this. Just keep stretching it, working with it. Okay, now I have a nice rectangle. I just layered this tray with um, some, ol some olive oil. And we're just gonna uh, start by putting our pizza dough in the oven. I cranked it up to 500 degrees. Turn it up. Get that going with nothing on top of it yet for about you know, five minutes um, before we put on some cheese and the, our meatballs and sauce. Okay, we're gonna take our pizza out for a sec. 
now that it's all started cooking. And I'm gonna add some mozzarella that I got on Arthur Ave. Jimmy Brothers! Some fresh moss. Just throw that on. Plenty of cheese. And then I'm just gonna drizzle a little olive oil. And then we're gonna let that go for another few minutes just to, so the cheese starts melting. And then finally we'll add our meatballs. Okay, so I just took out our pizza, all the cheese is melted. Now I'm just gonna start uh, breaking apart the meatballs just so it's easier to put on top of the pizza. So you can still leave them in uh, pretty big pieces, but just kind of mash them up with the sauce. Okay, all my meatballs are on the pizza, and for the final touch, I'm going to add some basil that I just uh, washed and chopped up a little bit, so garnish. And then I have a dry cheese, it's a belladonna, I believe it's called, prima donna. But you can use any, any dry cheese like Parmesan or Romano. So I'm just going to grate that. And uh, yeah, this is a delicious uh, dish for any kind of snack or a party. Um, really highlights the fresh ingredients, the fresh mozz, and the fresh basil, and cooking the meatballs in the sauce really adds a lot of flavor. Um, so yeah, I'll see you next time in Greg's College Kitchen. Manja, Brendan. <laughs>